Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, for the next lesson, we are going to learn about socializing. In socializing, there are four subtopics, which is greetings and introductions, apologies and explanations, telephone calls, and directions. Okay, in socializing, it is a foundation of communication, which is between two person or more than a two person. Okay, after we are learning this lesson, you are going to be confident okay, during the interaction between another person or more than one person. Okay, in some certain situations, which is related to your real life, you will be able to reinforce their language expressions. Okay, let's we go for the greetings and introductions. Okay, for the greetings and introductions, the most important thing you need to know is Greetings. So such as we say, hi, hello, that is greetings, right? Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good night. So like we say good morning, when do we say good morning normally? Some of you might be confused. Is it good morning early in the morning? Okay, you need to know before 12 p.m. So what's the clock before 12 p.m.? It sounds good morning. So, you will say good morning. Alright, for good afternoon, which occurs after 12 p.m. So, after 12 p.m. until 3 p.m. is called good afternoon. But for good evening, it will start after 3 p.m. until you go to your bed. That is called good evening. Alright, but when will you say good night? So, good night, it will be when you're on the bed, before you're going to sleep. You will say good night mama good night papa or whoever that you want to say good night right okay if we say good nice to see you again that is called greetings i am glad happy pleased to see you all right so this type of greetings uh, statement or the sentences you can use in your expression words daily routine that's the most important thing your interaction between your partner okay goodbyes for goodbyes, you will say goodbye. Normally, you will say bye, right? But besides that, what other terms that you can use? What other sentences that you can use? Such as, thank you for coming. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye. Please come again. Goodbye. I hope to see you again. I must go now. So this is sounds goodbye, all right? Okay, catch you later. That is also goodbye. See you later. See you soon. Goodbye. It is a pleasure to have met you. So, can you use this type of sentences when you say goodbye to someone? Alright, don't only say the word, don't only use the sentence such as goodbye. Okay, possible greetings. There are possible greetings and possible responses that I would like to share to you. For example, hello David, how are you? So what will be your response? It could be fine, thanks, and you? See, normally we will always say to a person, how are you? And you might be replying, fine, thank you. So it's just like you ask someone asks a question and you're just giving the answer. But how nice if you can ask another question to that person, such as fine. Thanks. And you? Right. That is the way when we need to create the communication. Hi, Lee. How have you been? Very well. And you? See, that's the way. Good morning, Miss Sheila. How are things? Not too bad. Thanks. Right. Good morning, Mrs. Kiru. How are you today? I am very well. Thank you. And you? See? That is the way where we say possible greetings and possible responses. Okay, at times when you meet a person, when you shake hands with another person, make sure you shake with a, with a firm way, alright? So, will you say like, how do you do? Or, pleased to meet you. That is the way to say, alright? Okay, let's move on to the introductions. So, introductions is very important, the expressions to introduce of someone, yourself for example. How will you introduce yourself to another person? 
So my name is dot dot dot. My name is Dave. Right. So you can say like that. I am. Let me introduce myself. I am. I had like to introduce myself. I am. Nice to meet you. I am. Pleased to meet you. I am. So these are the way you can introduce yourself. Don't always say something like this. My name is. Uh, very very short, very general, very simple. Why not you use some certain expressions that I have shared with you? The next one, expressions to introduce others. Daniel, please meet Mr. Shan. Davy, have you met Hazwan? I had like you to meet Anis. I had like to introduce you to Arwi. Shima, this is Ame. Ame, this is Shima. Mrs. Ame, may I introduce my boss, Mr. Chong? Right, that is the way when you express your emotions or situation at that time. Okay, responses when introducing yourself or other people. So, if happen to be the questions there, so how will you answer? Nice to meet you. Please to meet you. Happy to meet you. Glad to meet you. So, these are the nice way for you to respond. Okay, let's move on to the greeting guests. Okay, the most important thing you need to know is in greeting guests, such as at the first time or maybe in the middle at the situation or at goodbye situation. So, in a formal expression, you will say, Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. That is formal expression. Good afternoon. Right? Welcome to restaurant Hibiscus. See? Formal. How are you this morning? Or how are you today? So that is formal expression. But how is informal? For example, hello. Hi. What's up? How is going? So this is formal expressions. You can't use these words and formal expressions. So you have to bear in your mind. Okay, right. Next, for example, in a such of in a hotel industry, for example, you can use like this. How can I help you today, ma'am or madam or sir? Can I be of assistance? How may I assist you? May I assist you with anything? What can I do for you today? So see, this is the way when you offer help or you might ask someone. So you need to have a very polite way to talk. Okay, asking about well-beings and farewells. So if in a good situation, you will say, how are you? So your possible answer will be, great, I'm great, I'm doing great. How it's going? Couldn't be better. How has your day been? Fantastic. All right. Okay. If so, 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 so means it's a middle situation, which is like you're not very good and you're not very bad. Your day. So, how have you been? Could be worse. How's the family? Fair to middling. Did you have a good day? I can't complain. See, that is so, so. But if a bad situation, how do you feel? Not too good. How was your day? I have had to better days. Have you had a good day? No, it was lousy. See, there's a situation that you can use this type of terms. Okay, for apologies and explanation is another subtopic, which you need to know is if informal phrases, I am very sorry, but I am afraid that I won't be able to help you as I'm awfully sorry about, I am terribly sorry for, so this is informal. But in a formal way, you have to say like this, I would like to apologize for, I apologize for coming late to class, to work. I do apologize for being late. So this is formal. You have to know the difference of informal and formal. Okay, when you ask for explanation, you can ask like this. Can you tell me about that place, for example? Or you can also use like, 
I don't understand. Can you explain? Uh, you can say like that. Why is it that? Can you explain? Right? Does this mean I have to do this? You have to talk like that. Alright? Or if when you're giving explanation, just now was asking. Now when you're giving, may I explain that dot 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 dot? Alright? Or well, you see, it's not like that. Or maybe you can say, it's like this. See how the way you're going to explain things? Oh, another common word people always will use is because. Alright? Next, we move on to telephone calls. Okay, in telephone calls, there are many terms that you need to know, such as answer. Like when you say hello in the phone when it rings. Busy signal. A beeping sound that tells the caller that another person is already on the phone with someone else. If what it means by call, call means a telephone conversation through a telephone. Caller, the person who telephones, that's called caller. Call back or phone back, that means to call someone who called you first. Call display, a screen that shows you who is calling. Cordless phone, a phone that is not attached to the wall. That means you can walk short distances, which is within at home or in the garden. Dial, to press the buttons on the phone. You need to know what's dial. Alright, dial tone. This is different. The sound the phone makes when you pick it up. Directory or phone book. A book that you have all the alphabetically listed local phone numbers of people and businesses so you can just look at the yellow pages book next hang up to put the receiver down and and a call operator a person who answers telephone related questions when you dial zero so the operator will talk phone book or a pay phone so this is normally you can see in public places but very rare nowadays but you still can find a place where you can pay to use a telephone in public. Pick up to answer the phone. Receiver. The piece on the phone that you speak into and you listen from. Receiver, right? Okay, ring. The sound a phone makes when somebody calls, but to make that sound. So, when you call, ring. So, that's called ring. Okay, next is telephone language. So, there are certain ways when you answer the phone, you should say like, Thank you for calling Mr. Rahim. For example, Alicia is speaking. How can I help you? You don't use the word like, Hello, who is this? Oh, no. Answering the phone is not like that. Okay, you have to be formal. You have to be very polite. Introducing yourself. You don't say like this, Hey, Asmawi, it's Kumar calling. No, not that way. That is informal. Talking to a friend is fine. But if you're working place or with a colleague at business, you should say like, Hello. This is Aaron Aziz calling. Uh, right, so you introduce yourself. Next, asking to speak with someone. So you should say in a formal way, may I speak with Mr. Ashraf? Please, polite way to say please at the final sentence. Don't say like this. Is Revati there? Please. Is Alex in? Uh, not that way, all right? So in a polite way, you have to say it in a proper way. Connecting someone. So when you want to connect to someone, you can use such, such as sentences, please hold on or please hold and I will put you through to his office. Or maybe you can say, one moment please. Right? That is the way. Making special requests. You can also use like, could you speak up a little please? That means you need to speak louder because you cannot hear. Would you mind spelling that for me? Could you please repeat that? Can you call me back? I think we have a bad connection. Uh, so this is called request. You're asking some someone to do that. Taking a message for someone. So in a proper way, like, I am sorry, Lisa is not here at the moment. Can I know who is calling? Right? But you don't say like this. Oh, Sammy is not in. Who is this? No, that's not the way. Right? Okay, next, leaving a message with someone. So when you leave a message, you can just say, uh, yes, it's James here. Uh, when do you expect her back in the office, for example? Or maybe you say, yes, can you tell him his wife called? 
please or you maybe also can say that thanks could you ask him to call Brian when he gets in so that is called leaving a message with someone confirming information okay I have got it all down let me repeat that just to make sure whatever you said is all there or you can say you said your name was Lee right you want to do confirmation okay finishing your finishing a conversation is very important so you need to have a conclusion like well I guess I had better get going talk to you soon because maybe you might have some other things you might go that is the way to say you can't use you can't say like that ah, okay 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 I'm going now huh? I have to leave no that's not the way in a proper English way you should say like for example thanks for calling bye for now or maybe you can just say I have another call coming through I better run so run doesn't mean you're going to run marathon but run means you're going to just put the phone down all right okay so in the telephone calls it's very important you need to know such as the ways of talking okay for directions okay, in directions there are ways such as here are some ways of asking for directions okay such as where is how do i get to could you please show me the way to is this way to the shop which is the way to right i'm afraid i'm lost could you help me for example could you direct me or lead me are there any landmarks so landmarks means is a location where people don't know how to go there but you have some location to go there how many kilometers is it from here do you have any idea where is it is it left or right side or maybe you can use like would you mind telling me the way to the shop so these are the ways of asking directions okay okay like if you are giving directions so just now you ask now you tell go along to the shop or go along to the road go up go down all right take the first turning or take the second turning all right go straight on until you come to the shop for example go across the bridge you will come to a location or to a landmark so you explain like that okay normally people will say walk north south turn to the east west you can use that not a problem but you have to remember when you explain that person must understand all right okay when you talk about roundabout roundabout is very simple try to use the clockwise which is nine o'clock twelve o'clock three o'clock six o'clock you go straight you see the roundabout you take your 12 o'clock ah for example right that's the way all right it's over there it's around the corner so you can use this type of sentences but sometimes you not able to help that person so how will you say you can't say oh no no i don't know how to explain to you can you ask somebody else oh no that's not the proper way to say that so how will you say i'm sorry I can't help you out. I'm sorry. I don't have the fantasy idea. I'm sorry. I'm new here myself. I am a stranger to these parts too. I'm afraid. I am sorry. I'm not able to help you. I am sorry. I have never heard of the place. So these are the words, you know, or the sentences that you can use in such situation when you're giving directions. This is very important because wherever you are going to go, you're going to work, or you're going to learn somewhere, study, you need to use direction terms in a proper way. Okay, so your possible responses must be very good. Okay, and like for example, there are some language notes you need to know, such as prepare, turn, you know, do not allow, you should allow to avoid the traffic. So this all will help you for you know for your communication skills in uh, socializing so the most important thing here is what i'm trying to say is socializing is a part of a lesson where you will be able to communicate with each another all right so you have to use this type of phrases uh, possible responses possible possible way of asking questions so that your partner will understand better you have to talk clearly that is the most important part all right Till then, thank you, take care, stay safe.